What's going on guys? This is Ryan with the RK Outpost and the news does not slow down in regards to what happened on the set of Rust. More details continue to come out day after day from anonymous sources, from people on the set, from crew members, and also from the sheriff's department themselves. So many people want to know exactly what went down. The series of events that led to Alec Baldwin tragically killing Helena Hutchins, the cinematographer, as well as injuring the director Joel Souza. One thing is incredibly obvious, that it was a series of unsafe practices and working conditions and extreme gross negligence that led up to this from several different people. Alec Baldwin has been the focal point of so much of this, not only as the person that was holding the weapon, but also as the producer for this film the one who decides who to hire and fire and is responsible for working conditions and safety while on this set. Obviously, the assistant director who was the last one to touch this gun before handing it to Alec Baldwin has admitted he didn't do a proper check and has a history of unsafe practices. But the armorer is who so much of this has been focused on. The 24-year-old Hannah Gutierrez-Reed, who is completely inexperienced, had no business doing this, and has a lot of complaints against her as well. Well, unfortunately for Hannah Gutierrez Reed, where who you can see right here, when asked about live rounds on the set, she did not give the right answer. And this could be a mistake. This could be, well, maybe she just didn't know. But when you look at things and start to connect the dots, it really looks like in her first statement, she very well lied to the police about what was going on on the set of Rust. Sheriff investigating Alec Baldwin's shooting incident says Armour's statement was, quote, not accurate. <laughs> That's not a great thing when you're talking to the police and giving sworn affidavits to the police for an investigation is to say something that's not accurate. Armor Hannah Gutierrez Reed previously stated there were no live rounds kept on the set of Alec Baldwin's movie. And before we even get too far into this, I just wanted to highlight a portion. This is an excerpt from the sheriff and the district attorney's press conference that they gave uh, yesterday. The department has recovered 500 rounds of ammunition, a mix of blanks, dummy rounds, and what we are suspecting are live rounds. So there were live rounds on this set, and according to them, when they described it, there were literally bullets just all over. Literally all over this set, there was live ammunition. So what Hannah Gutierrez Reed has said isn't really playing out the way that she wanted the police to believe that it did. Uh, Santa Fe County Sheriff Aiden Mendoza said he does not believe a statement from the armorer in a Rust movie investigation was accurate regarding the presence of live rounds on the set. Alec Baldwin was practicing cross-drawing a long-barreled Colt 45 revolver on a church set made for the indie western film when a gun went off. Authorities confirmed a live round struck cinematographer Helena Hutchins in the stomach and was eventually recovered inside director Joel Souza's right shoulder. Very few people handled that gun prior to the incident, but one was armor Hannah Gutierrez-Reed. In a search warrant ex ex executed by the sheriff's office and obtained by Fox News, Gutierrez-Reed noted there should have been no live ammunition on the set at all. And we're going to read some of her statement right here. This is Alec Baldwin's Rust movie assistant director admits to gun safety mistakes search warrant reveals. I want to read this entire thing that comes from the affidavit. Hall, so Dave Halls, said in an affidavit that when armorer Hannah Gutierrez-Reed showed him the gun before continuing rehearsal, he could only remember seeing three rounds. He advised he should have checked all of them, but didn't, and couldn't recall if Hannah had spun the drum. After it was fired, Halls picked up the gun from a pew on the church set and took it to the armorer. Gutierrez-Reed was told to open the gun so she could see what was inside. Hall said there were five rounds in the gun, at least four of which had, quote, dummy casings, as indicated by a hole on the side. There was one without a hole. He advised this round did not have a cap on it, it was just the casing. So that was the live round. Uh, Gutierrez-Reed, meanwhile, says she checked the dummies and ensured they were not hot rounds prior to the cast and crew breaking for lunch. During lunch, the firearms she initially brought to the set were taken back and secured in a safe of a prop truck nearby. At the time, she claims ammo was left out on a cart on the set and not secure, which probably not the best thing. Probably not the best thing to just have that ammo lying around in a cart anywhere anyone can grab it or set something down right there. Ammo was also inside the prop truck at the time. After lunch, crew member Sarah Zachary pulled the firearms out of the safe inside the truck and handed them to her. She advised there are only a few people that have access to the combination of the safe. During the course of filming... 
Hannah says she handed the gun to Baldwin a few times and also handed it to Halls. So there was... That in and of itself is a terrible statement because that just goes to show they weren't consistently doing the same thing. They had no procedure that they were doing. It was different every time they went to film. Sometimes she handed it to Baldwin. Sometimes she handed it to Hall. Sometimes who knows what happened. That in and of itself is a recipe for disaster. But it's very, very clear that her statement was inaccurate, that she was not correct when she talked about live ammunition. And the reason that so many people are thinking that this is just a straight up lie is because of all the things we've heard. We've heard from the people on the set that they, they use this for target practice. They use these weapons for target practice during their downtime. So the idea that live ammunition, oh, it couldn't have been on set. Oh, we, we don't keep live ammunition on set. You were literally using these weapons as target practice, plinking, shooting beer cans. That's what people have come forward and said. That's what people from the set, what crew members have said happened. Yet Hannah Gutierrez-Reed, in her affidavit, is saying, oh, there shouldn't have been any live rounds on set anywhere. Clearly, that wasn't the case. Speaking on the Today Show Thursday, Sheriff Mendoza was asked if that statement is accurate, given the evidence that's been collected in the case thus far. No, it obviously isn't. That was a live round that struck and killed Mrs. Hutchinson, Mrs. Hutchins, so that is not an accurate statement as far as I'm concerned. Not the best thing for Hannah Gutierrez Reed. Not the best thing for the sheriff to be saying that's not an accurate statement. That on her affidavit, she did not provide accurate and full information. They're going to be looking into that. They're going to be looking to see exactly who knew about the live ammunition and who knew about it when. And if it turns out that Hannah Gutierrez Reed, if anyone says she had any knowledge, she's saying that not a lot of people had access to these guns. Yet these guns, specifically Baldwin's, was used for target practice. So obviously someone somewhere is lying about this. It certainly looks like it could be Hannah Gutierrez Reed, and if that's the case, it's not looking good for her anyway, just to be real. It's really not. It's not looking good for Hannah Gutierrez Reed in any way, shape, or form. It's not looking good for Alec Baldwin. It's not looking good for Dave Halls, the assistant director. And when you have the sheriff saying that you gave an inaccurate statement, that you basically lied, that is not a good thing. Let me know what you guys think about all this in the comments below. Smash a like button, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for notifications, share this video out there, and I'll talk to you later. Thanks for watching, everyone. And a huge shout out to my patrons. I appreciate you guys so much. Want to follow me on Twitter or Instagram? Check out the description below. You'll find links to my PO box and my Patreon as well. And I'll talk to you guys later.